Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of modeling slope-intercept form. This is standard 8.5i in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 19 of the 2017 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So, we have a graph here, shows the relationship between uh, the weight uh, of pecans and how much it costs to buy those pecans, which makes sense, right? As your, as your weight increases, then your cost is going to increase, so that makes sense. And so we simply just need to uh, find the function here that best represents the relationship in this graph. So we've got four different options here. And take a look at what we've got. We've got all of these, and it's going to, even though we would typically look at the slope-intercept form, it doesn't quite look like that. So here's our slope-intercept form. So when we're looking at the slope-intercept form, typically what we're going to find is we're going to find y equals mx plus b. Um, but we're not necessarily finding any of that over here. What we're finding instead is we're finding a simplified form, and that's called direct variation. It's a little bit simpler. Direct variation looks similar. It's y equals kx, but they don't have a plus b or anything. The m and the k, uh, two different letters, but they both represent the slope here. Um, and so it looks like we all have that. And here's the difference. So if x equals 0 on the slope-intercept form, if I put a 0 right here, well, that's going to cancel that out. So y is going to equal b, which means it's going to have a y-intercept, and it's going to not go through the origin. But if x equals 0 down here on direct variation, well, then if you put a 0 right there, well, guess what? It's going to cancel out the, the k. So y is going to equal 0. Now if we have an x and a y of 0, that's going to go through the origin. Even though this is just a one-quadrant graph, you see it's going to start in the origin. So that makes sense. So we are going to go through the origin. We don't have a y-intercept, so that means it is a proportional function. That's what that means. And so we simply need to find the slope. So how do we find the slope? Uh, slope equals, well, there's several different little phrases we use, rise over run. What that means is we've got the change in y over the change in x, because the y is the rise up and down of a graph, and then the run is the side to side, the change side to side. So we need to take two different y coordinates and just subtract them. Doesn't matter which two, that's our numerator. Two different x coordinators, two different x coordinates, doesn't matter which two. And we need to subtract them. So you know what? Let's just work smarter rather than harder. Let's make one of our coordinates the origin right here, 0, 0. And then let's just make that one that one right there, 2, 10. Watch. If you do it like that, look how easy it is. So let's do our y coordinates first. 10 minus 0 over x coordinates, 2 minus 0. Uh, that's just 10 over 2. That's just 5. So if you use the origin as one of the sets, all you have to do is take any of these right here. Let's try that one. That's 4 and 20. And you just need to put the y over the x, right? k equals, it's our constant of proportionality there, y over x. And so I can just say 20 over 4 is still going to equal 5. So since we're using direct variation, we have to find the k, that's that constant of proportionality, because if we're looking for slope, one of the sets of coordinates is always going to be 0, 0, so just put y over x. That's kind of the easy way to do it there. And so let's see what that looks like in here. So if I'm going to use this y equals kx, then y equals my k, my slope is 5. My answer here is a. 